Hello and thanks for tuning in to my YouTube channel, Pickleball Pick Apart. My name is Rory. I take pickleball games off of YouTube and I pick apart the play on the court. Watching my videos will help make you a better pickleball player. In this video, another viewer who reached out and asked me to pick apart their game and I'm happy to do it. They're about to enter a tournament and play at the 4.0 level. They're looking for advice as to what maybe they can do better. I think overall the play is very good. However, there are a couple of things they do that are easily correctable, and if they correct those things, it will make them much better players and maybe help them succeed in the tournament. So check out a couple of things they could do better, and let me know how you think these players will do playing at the 4.0 level in a tournament. A big thank you to the Pickleball channel Cooking at the Kitchen for posting this video and asking me to pick apart their game. Let's go. Here comes the first serve. Now let me point out the title of this video is 4.0 Plus Pickleball Competitive Practice Match. So they're practicing for an upcoming tournament. Let's see how well they practice. That was pretty good up until that point. Let me show you exactly what happened because it is very clear. It has to do with the player in white's paddle position. So they're dinking right here. Look where his paddle is. It's way, way, way down here still. Now he kind of gets it up in front of him. And watch what happens right here. See where his paddle is? It's below his waist. It is at his knees. And the player in black hits it to his left side. His paddle is in front of his right knee and he just cannot get his paddle up in time to get this ball. The players are only 14 feet away. He does not have time to react because his paddle is not in the proper position. What he tries to do, instead of hitting a backhand, he tries to hit what I call a bass backwards backhand and watch what happens. Goes right out of the court. That's a really good third shot. Nice job by the guy in blue. All right, look at this. The player in red was waiting for the ball in the perfect position with his paddle out in front of him. It was hit. He hit it with his backhand, was able to defend. Great job by the guy in red. Let's go back and take a look. Look where his paddle is. It is out in front of him. It is not at his side. And here comes the stop shot right here. Look where his paddle is. He's ready for it. Perfect. That's a really good get by the guy in blue to get down and get that ball. But he missed it right into the net. Where did he start when he swung at that ball? Here we go. There's that good, good get. Now look where his paddle is. It's down at his knees in front of him. His paddle is nowhere near where the player in red's paddle was. Here comes the ball. He's not able to react in time. Very, very slight difference but it makes a huge difference when you are that close and hitting the ball hard at each other okay he just missed that shot but he is putting top spin on that third shot drop and i really do like that that is how i hit a third shot drop i try to put top spin on the ball it is not something for beginners to try but advanced players can do it and if you can put top spin on your third shot drop it will be an advantage for you he, he gets another shot almost made it there Fish shot drive instead of a fish shot drop, and that player just hits the ball into the net. I probably would have hit a fifth shot reset into the kitchen instead of a fifth shot drive. I'm not sure what kind of serve that is. Nope, can't hit the ball up that high. The angle of his paddle was just not in the correct position. He didn't really swing at the ball. He just hit his paddle and flew up. That's a good third shot. I would like to see the player in white with his paddle somewhere besides at his knees. Oh, he tried it around the post and the guy in black hit it out of the air, but he was able to get it. That was real good play until the players in the backcourt can't decide which player should take that ball. It was hit right down the middle. Good job of the guy in white. Sometimes down the middle is a very good place to hit it.
great job by the guy in red. Oh, he did it again. That's the second time the player in white has gotten caught with this paddle in the wrong position. Now let's compare the player in white to the player in red and I will show you what the difference is. Again, it is not that drastic of a difference, but it makes a huge difference. Look at that. His paddle is out in front of him. He is able to defend that ball. Now watch his partner. Look, where, did you see where his partner's paddle was? Let's go back and take a look. I'm going to try to stop it so you can see. We're right here on this shot right here. Look where his paddle is. Look where his paddle is. Again, it is at his knees. The player in black hits it forcefully to him, and he just cannot react in time. And it kind of corkscrews out of the court. You could see what he did. He just showed his partner what he did. He knows what he did was incorrect. The reason it was incorrect is because his paddle was not properly positioned in front of him. A quick timeout to tell you this. I've started a new business venture. I've opened an online store featuring the coolest pickleball swag on the planet. You can find my store, Pickleball Printables, at pickleballprintables.com or simply click the link below in the description of the video. My store features a large selection of men and women's t-shirts, four styles to choose from, cotton, performance, moisture wicking, and v-neck, ceramic coffee mugs, black or white, either 15 ounce or 11 ounce mugs, baseball caps featuring the imprint on a leather patch, 20 ounce stainless steel tumblers, a large 17 by 18 inch tote bag to carry all of your pickleball items, and Kiss Cut Stickers, three sizes to choose from to stick anywhere you want to stick. I've made sure my designs are like no other designs out there. They are clean, cool, clever, uncluttered, and sometimes humorous. I think you're going to love them. Right now, get 10% off your first order by using the coupon code YouTube when you check out. Dink in style with the coolest pickleball swag on the planet at pickleballprintables.com. That's just an unforced error. Okay, so what's happening here is the players in the far court are stacking. When the player in blue returns the ball, instead of moving straight forward, he's going to move at an angle to the other court. The problem with this is it is further from here to here than it is from here to here. In order for that player to get established at the non-volley zone on this side of the court, he is going to have to hustle up. Can he get there? He's just kind of not getting there. And as you can see, this portion of the court right here is open. If the player in white sees that and the player in blue does not get there in time, the player in white can make it difficult for the player in blue because he'll have to hit it with his backhand. He just, he did exactly that. He was able to get it. So good job by the guy in blue, but it still kind of threw him off and he missed the uh, next shot. That ball is out. Here we go again. Same situation. Look how open the court is because the player in blue is not putting out much of an effort to get established at the non-volley zone. That is a huge opening right there. And he's not able to get it that time. Just did not move fast enough. That's a very good job by the guy in white seeing what is going on and hitting it to the player in blue's backhand. Not moving quick enough has cost him two points now. Nice job. Oh, I think that ball was in. I really like the way the player in red plays. He is ready for every shot that has been hit to him so far. They're changing sides. No, I thought they were, but they're not. Let's see if the player can, in blue can move a little bit quicker. Nope, look where he is. This is so wide open. And he was able to get it that time. I think he changed hands right there. Nice job by the player in red with the top spin. Good hands. I mean, did the player in white mess up again because his paddle was in the wrong position? Yeah, he sure did. That is three times now his paddle has been out of position. And it cost him 
three different times. If he's going to be playing in a tournament, maybe he'll watch this video and he will understand what is going on before he actually enters the tournament and he can correct that. It's a very simple correction. Out of the court. The reason it went out of the court is because the player in blue hit it very flat with no top spin. He also hit it too hard, but sometimes you have to put top spin on that ball. And that is just really, really bad. I want to point out something here. Watch what he tries to do. He tries to put slice side spin on this ball, and the ball goes into the bottom of the net. There really is no reason to do this because most of the time it's almost impossible to hit a winner on a return of serve. That's just very, very poor. He's looking at his paddle like, what happened? That's a nice shot. Nice. That was a nice get by the guy in blue. Good point. There we go again. I mean, I realized the blue, the guy in blue, hit that ball really hard. It was hit high. It would have been very difficult for the player in white to get this ball back. However, let's watch. Look where it's hit. So here comes the ball. Look where the player in white's paddle is. It is at his side, but watch what he does to hit this ball. Instead of putting his paddle up and hitting it with, with his backhand, he actually drops his paddle to his knees. Then he kind of does a corkscrew type of thing, trying to hit the ball with this paddle. Again, what I call bass backwards. Watch this. Look at that. And he corkscrews it out of the court again. That is just improper technique. And that is the fourth time that has happened. Goodbye. Let's watch this again. Okay, so what is the intent of hitting a third shot like this? What is the player in blue hoping will happen? Because nothing good is going to come from this. Point over. If you're playing at the 4.0 plus level like these players are supposedly are, that just is not going to cut it. That was hit into the court. Nice job by the guy in red. Because of the way he defends and because of his third shots, having some top spin on them, in my opinion, he is the best player on the court. That was a really nice third shot drive. And a good job by the guy in blue putting that ball away as it was popped up too high. Gotta like the Jimmy Eats World t-shirt. See that shot right there? He's not gonna quite make it, but it's a good effort. And that's a good shot by the guy in white. He did the Ernie there. Let's see if the guy in blue can make it to the non-volley zone. As again, they are switching here. There's that side spin. Yeah, he did. Good job. But he hit that return a lot higher and a lot deeper than he did on the other returns where he did not get up to the non-volley zone in time. There's an unforced error into the net, did not bend his knees, and his paddle was at the wrong angle. Went right into the net. That was a very, very shallow serve. Never could quite make it up all the way to the non-volley zone. They had a chance on the third, the fifth, and the seventh shot and could not do it. It's a good serve. Okay. Oh, it made it in. Missed the shot. The score is 7-3. The team in the near court is winning. Oh, great job by the guy in white. Just absolutely fantastic. So here's what happens again. They are switching. And watch what happens. The guy, when he hits this ball in blue, he is supposed to move from there to here. 
but he doesn't. He stays at the back of the court. Look what he does. He does not move forward one bit. He just switches sides. The guy in white sees it, hits it to his backhand, and the point is over because all the guy in blue can do is pop the ball up. You've got to be a little bit more athletic than he is being. You have to run quicker to that non-volley zone, and he failed to do so. That's the third time that has happened, and each time it has cost the team in the backcourt a point, and that's one of the reasons they are losing this game. Okay. Just missed it. Tried to speed it up, and I just don't think the ball bounced high enough for him to go with the speed up. He probably should have just dinked it back into the kitchen. That's just a great shot right there. I really like that third shot drop. One of the reasons he was able to do that so effectively is because the player in blue returned the serve with slice spin. And when that happens and you hit the next shot with top spin, it puts actually more top spin on the ball because the return was hit with slice spin. I hope that makes sense. Uh, not sure what that was. He tried to poach the ball, but it didn't quite work out. All right, nice job by the guy in red. He got the uh, scorpion right there. Boom, scorpion put away right at his feet. Really nice job. That ball was out of the court. So I want you to let me know if you think these players are 4.0 plus players. Not sure why he's serving like that because he just served it out of the court. 9-4 now. Can't get that shot over. Unforced errors are starting to take over. The score is 10 to four. Really like that, good job. Oh, I don't know if he faked that, but he did not hit the ball. It did fall out of the court, and that's the final score, 11 to four. The players in the near court were just better than the players in the back court. Again, I really like the way the player in red plays. I think he is a step above all of the other three players. So there you have it. Just a couple of things that I think if they correct will make them much better players. They're about to enter a tournament at the 4.0 level. I'd like to know how you think they're going to do. So please leave a comment in the comment section below. That's it from Pick a Ball, Pick Apart. I really hope you learned something from watching this video. And if you did, I hope you take the time to like it, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post a new video. And don't forget to check out my online store, Pickleball Printables, where you will find the coolest pickleball swag on the planet. This is Rory saying, as always, thanks for watching and see you on the court.